Hello YouTube, uh, the other day I was watching Laser Saber and his video on um, copper and magnesium um, battery so I decided to go ahead and um, make my own version of it so this is um, as you can see it's a spiral that goes all the way around this um, 3D printed uh, piece and um, it's 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 about nine inches in length, uh, and it's made out of parts. See, and um, and when you put it together, the spiral continues. And um, inside of the spiral is going to go this um, magnesium ribbon, and in this in the um, in this wide space is going to go um, this this copper uh, ribbon. Here we have the copper and magnesium battery finished. Um, it's one quarter inch um, copper ribbon and um, uh, uh, one, one eighth of an inch uh, magnesium ribbon. Just spiral together, uh, solder to the top, and um, you can't really sol solder magnesium, so you um, I basically just connected the wire to the bolt there. Okay, we're gonna test it in this PVC tube. I, ha I haven't really ran this experiment, so I'm doing it doing it live. I don't know what the outcome is gonna be in terms of voltage or anything. So I dropped it in there, and I have some water. I'm gonna pour it, pour some water water in there. Okay, so it's just plain tap water. Okay, so I have my voltmeter here. Let's see, I'm gonna set it to DC. Okay. Let's see, one point six volts, one point five nine volts. I think that's pretty impressive with the homemade battery. Uh, hook it up to a jewel thief circuits and you should have a nice uh, flashlight. I'm going to use uh, a reflector from a cheapo um, one dollar flashlight to use um, in this setup. This is my circuit powering uh, an LED through a, through a jewel, a jewel thief. It's actually not very bright and um, I have this little potentiometer to, con to control it but uh, with the I improvement you can actually get usable light out of this with just water you know, water, magnesium and copper